Concerning the fathers of the men, of all their princes, according to the house of their fathers, twelve rods, say so twelve rods, write thou every man's name upon his rod. You told him to put Aaron's name upon the rod of Levi's. Go ahead, verse 4. And thou shalt lay them up in the tabernacle of the congregation before the testimony where I will meet with you. And it shall come to pass that the man's rod whom I shall choose shall blossom, and I will make to cease from me the murmuring of the children of Israel, whereby they murmur against you. Hear that? Listen. And it shall come to pass that the man's rod whom the Most High shall choose shall blossom. He said, I will make the siege from him from the Most High, the murmurs of the children of Israel, whereby they murmur against you. They murmur against the Most, to, uh, against the most High to murmur against Moses, you see? Read. And Moses spake unto the children of Israel, and every one of their princes gave him a rod of peace. For each prince, one according to their father, how? Even twelve rods, and the rods of Aaron was among their rods. Right, so they gave Aaron, I mean, they gave Moses the rods, their rods, was twelve rods that they gave each the tribe of Israel, and, they, and Aaron had his rod, representing Levi's. Go ahead. And Moses laid up the rods before the Most High and the tabernacle of witness. And it came to pass that on the morrow Moses went into the tabernacle of witness and behold the rod of Aaron for the house of Levi was budded and brought forth buds and blue blossoms and yielded almonds. Right, so when he went into the tabernacle Aaron's rod had blossomed out of all the rods, right? and start blooming, blossoms and yielded almonds. Go ahead. And Moses brought out all the rods from before the Most High unto the children of Israel, and they looked and took every man his rod. And the Most High said unto Moses, Bring Aaron's rod again before the testimony to be kept for a token against the rebels, and thou shalt, thou shalt quite take away their murmuring for me, that they die not. That's why you gotta watch murmuring. I don't like all that complaining stuff. Cause especially, especially when you think you're complaining against man, you're complaining against him. And it's dealing with this word of truth. The spirit of the Most High he said, that's how you're going to stop the murmurs from himself, from the Most High. That the people die not. No, you know, you kill them. I'll kill you. Go ahead. Numbers chapter 17, verse 11. And Moses did so as the Most High commanded him, so did he. And the children of Israel spake unto Moses, saying, Behold, we die, we perish, we all perish. Whosoever cometh anything near unto the tabernacle of the Most High shall die. Shall we be consumed with dying? Now, you see the Spirit? What did the Most High say he's going to do once he allow Aaron's ride to bud? He's going to do what? He's going to start killing them. No, but what he said for the people, you gonna stop them from what? From murmuring. Mm -hmm. So you see what they said once, once, once Aaron's rod budded, and the children of Israel, verse twelve, spake unto Moses, saying, Behold, we died, we perished, we all perished. Whosoever cometh anything near unto the tabernacle of the Most High shall die. Shall we be consumed with dying? So now they're afraid of what? Dying, death, death right? Con. Numbers 18 and 1. And the Most High said unto Aaron, 
thou and thy sons and thy father's house with thee shall bear the iniquity of the sanctuary and thou and thy son with thee shall bear the iniquity of your priesthood. And thy brethren also of the tribe of Levi, the tribe of thy father, bring thou with thee that they may be joined unto thee and minister unto thee, but thou and thy sons with thee shall minister before the tabernacle of witness. And they shall keep thy charge and the charge of all the tabernacle. Only they shall not come nigh the vessel of the sanctuary and the altar that neither they nor you also die, and they shall be joined unto thee, and keep the charge of the tabernacle of the congregation for all the service of the tabernacle, and a stranger shall not come nigh unto you. So I say, hey, give them orders, man. These are the duties of the priests, and the Levites. So there ain't no stranger gonna come near the tabernacle. Read. And ye shall keep the charge of the sanctuary and the charge of the altar that there be no wrath any more upon the children of Israel. And I behold, I have taken your brethren, the Levites, from among the children of Israel. To you they are given as a gift for the Most High to do the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. Therefore, thou and thy sons with thee shall keep your priest offered for everything of the altar and within the veil, and ye shall serve. I have given your priest office unto you as a service of gift and the stranger that cometh not shall be put to death. And then you know again, once I speak once, say twice, so you know stranger supposed to come near because he's gonna be put to death, read. Right? <laughs> and the Lord spake unto Aaron, Behold, I also have given thee the charge of mine he, he offering of all the Halloween things of the children of Israel. Unto thee have I given them by reason of the anointing and to thy son by any ordinance forever. By an ordinance forever. It's by an ordinance forever. By an ordinance forever. This shall be thine of the most holy things, reserved from the first, from the fire. reserved from the fire, every oblation of theirs, every meat offering of theirs, and every sin offering of theirs, and every trespass offering of theirs, which they shall render unto me, shall be most holy for thee and for thy son. In the most holy place shalt thou eat it. Every male shall eat it. It shall be holy unto thee. And this is thine, the he of offering of their gift with all the way offering of the children of Israel, I have given them unto thee and to thy son and to thy daughters with thee by a statute forever. Every one that is clean in the house shall eat it. And the best of the oil 
and all the best of the wine and the wheat, the first fruits of them which they shall offer upon the most unto the most high, them have I given thee. And whatsoever is first ripe in the land which they shall bring unto the most high shall be thine. Every one that is clean in thine house shall eat of it. Everything devoted in Israel shall be hung, shall be thine. Everything that openeth the matrix and all flesh which they bring unto the Most High, whether it be of men or beasts, shall be thine. Nevertheless, the firstborn of man shalt thou surely redeem, and the firstling of unclean beasts shalt thou redeem. And those that are to be redeemed from a month old shall thou redeem according to thy estimation for the money of five shekels? Yeah, five shekels. After the shekels of the sanctuary, which is 20 girls. <laughs> but the first things of a cow, or the first thing of a sheep, or the firstling of a goat, thou shalt not redeem, they are holy, thou shalt sprinkle their blood upon the altar, and shalt burn their fat for an offering made by fire for a sweet savor unto the Most High. And the flesh of them shall be thine, and the way, breath, and as the Right shoulder or thine. It's the part of the animal that's most I say on the priest. Go ahead. All the heat offering of the holy thing which the children of Israel offer unto the Most High have I given thee 